Good morning, friends. Welcome. This morning, I decided to put on a crock pot full of really good soup. And I started going through the refrigerator, finding things I needed to use up. I cooked a turkey breast earlier last week. I said, I need to do something with that. And I really wanted soup. And I didn't want turkey and rice or turkey and noodle soup. I just wanted vegetable soup. So as I was going through the pantry and getting my tomatoes and my chicken broth, I found some lentils and I got some dehydrated potatoes and of course my garlic. Y'all, I just traveled way back. I'm so nostalgic. I traveled way back in time to when I was a child and I had a Danny K record. I don't know if y'all don't know him, but look him up on YouTube. He was in White Christmas. I love listening to him. But he did a folk record when I was a little girl in the 60s, and it had all kinds of stories. And one of my favorite stories to listen to on this record was Nail Soup. So I found that on YouTube. I can't tell you how excited I was. It just took me right back to little girl laying there listening to that record on her record player. But it's the story of a tramp who wanders through the woods and he finds a little cabin. There's an old lady in there and he asked if he could sleep in by the fire and have a bit to eat and she was not wanting to be very accommodating and she didn't want to share. She's very stingy, but he went and told her, well, just get me a pot of water and I'll make my famous nail soup. This, this nail has been used over and over, but I think I can get one more pot. So she was so intrigued and she pulled out a pot of water and he dropped his nail in and he's stirring and stirring and then just telling her, you know, it'd be really good if we had um, some oatmeal to put in this soup. Oh, it just, but since we don't have it, we'll just have nail soup. And it's just such a wonderful story, y'all. I've linked it in the description box below because I want you to go hear this story. Anyway, it ends up, he'll say, I need a bit of beef or I need a bit of barley to make. This would be perfect for the king and queen to come eat. So he ends up with this huge, delicious pot of soup, and then he takes the nail out at the end. And the woman is so thrilled that she has taught, he has taught her how to make nail soup. So y'all, I'm making nail soup today, and I'm just having the best time. So in the crock pot, I am going to be putting my jar of the chicken broth. I've got a video on that, how to make that. And boy, that makes soup so good. Let me get my can opener. But I, I'm telling y'all that is the best story you need. If you're a grandparent, get it out and let your, look it up and let your grandkids listen to it. It's just so wonderful. So I'm adding in one quart jar of my broth. And I'm gonna add in one quart of the tomatoes I put up this summer. Now I'm not gonna put the nail in it, but I brought the nail just to show you what a great story that is. I'm going to add in the one quart of stewed tomatoes. Okay, and then I'm going to add in this delicious cut up turkey meat. You could use stew beef meat, chicken, you can use canned chicken. Like I said, I wanted to use up stuff that was in the refrigerator. So I've got that stirred in. I have got three carrots and a little bit of onion. I'm gonna put that in. Now, I put up butter beans that I bought at my favorite produce stand. So I'm gonna add that in. I just really wanted some butter beans. And I could, you can add whatever you want to this. This is, this is the kind of stuff I was hungry for. I'm gonna add in some butter beans. Baby mamas. You could also do green beans. I'm not gonna put any green beans in this soup, but, or you could make it a taco soup. Um, you know, just about anything. A uh, Brunswick stew. I just wanted a good hearty vegetable. 
and turkey soup. So I'm gonna put that corn in. This is the corn I put up this summer. I have a video on that if you wanna learn how to put up corn. I'm gonna give this a good stir. But I love fables like that, y'all, because kids don't hear that kind of thing anymore. Um, the whole moral of the story was she shouldn't be selfish and greedy. And he was able to provide her with a delicious meal um, and, and help her to overcome her greediness. So I'm gonna make sure my grandchildren listen to that. Two of them are coming over tomorrow. I'm gonna to feed him this soup and I'm gonna let him listen to that story because it is so good. It just made me so happy today. <laughs> all right, so I've got that all stirred up. Now, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, you know what, I want some garlic in it. This is the garlic that I put up. And it does take a lot. I'm gonna just do a little bit of a handful. Put that in there. Now, I have dehydrated the little diced potatoes. I don't have any fresh potatoes, but you know, the diced potatoes you buy frozen, I dehydrate those. So I'm gonna add in, it's gonna be a little small potato bites, but that's fine. I'm gonna add in about a cup of these in the soup. So we've got potatoes, carrots, baby llama beans, and then I thought, you know what? I need some more protein in there. I'm gonna add some red lentils. You don't really notice that in the soup, but boy, did they pack a punch. So I'm only gonna do about a fourth a cup of red lentils and just toss that in there. And that would be good. All right, so for my spices, give this a stir. I'm gonna add about a half a teaspoon of thyme. And I did not have any celery. And you know, celery really adds a lot of flavor to soup. So I do have um, celery seed. So I'm gonna add an eighth of a teaspoon of celery seed in there. And then I've got a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. So I'm gonna put all that in there. And of course, you know I love my nutritional yeast flakes. I'm going to add two tablespoons of that. It's just adding a lot of extra vitamin B vitamins in there. So two tablespoons of that. And then we're going to give this a stir. I'm going to look at it and see what else I need. Oh, it looks so pretty. I'm going to bring the camera over here so you can see it. I'm looking at this. I think I may need to get some green beans in here. So I'm gonna go out to the freezer and I'm gonna go get some green beans and I'll put that in there and then I'll bring you over and let you look at it. It's gonna be a really good pot of nail soup. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Okay, I did go out and get a pack of my Kentucky Wonder pole beans. I grew these in the backyard this summer. Got a nice stock in the freezer. I think if you look at it, it's just like needs it, doesn't it? Needs one more ingredient. So I'm going to toss that in there. And just give that a stir. Oh, look at all that pretty color. You've got the orange carrots, the red tomatoes, the yellow corn. You need to eat your colors. Look at that. And I think it's perfect. I will give it a taste test as soon as it kind of cooks a little bit more. I've got the garlic in there and onions and the lentils. I don't know if I can see them. They're in there. And the potatoes. The potatoes will get a little bit bigger. Uh, but they're the di small diced potatoes, but that's beautiful. So we're going to let this simmer on low all day today, and I'll come in and give it a stir. And then this evening, I'll let you see it when I bowl it up in the taste test. All right, it's been cooking on low for about six hours. It's late afternoon now, and it looks delicious. 
Oh man, it smells so good. I wish you could smell it. So let's put this in a bowl and have some supper. Oh, I did add in a can of tomato sauce. I think it just needed that after I tasted it about midway. So I did add one can of tomato sauce. So I guess the moral to this story is you can make some delicious soup with things that are right in your pantry and you don't even have to put a nail in it. Just go in there in your refrigerator and your pantry and gather up great ingredients and make a nice pot of soup. Okay, I have been looking forward to this all day. It smells so good in here. So let me give this a taste. It's really hot. I like to serve this with crackers and wedges of cheddar cheese. It's just one of my favorite things to do. Oh, that is good. Oh, that tastes great. I just love vegetables and soup. It's so good. Mm. And the turkey's delicious. And I always like to take a little bite of cheese. Mm. Mm, nom, 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 nom. So I hope you enjoyed spending time with me today and reminiscing about my childhood and listening to that record. And again, tomorrow when my grandkids come, I'm going to let them listen to it too because it's a great story. So thank you for watching and I hope you have a very blessed day.